Hi, I'm Nikki. Welcome to my 10 minute dumbbell workout. Grab a mat, grab some water. Dumbbells, you want somewhere between three and five kilograms. If you wanna push yourself even more, then up that way. For each exercise, I will be doing 45 seconds on with a 15 second rest. In the rest period, I'll show you what the next exercise will be. Make sure that you subscribe to this channel if you want to see more workouts and fitness tips from me. Let's get into the workout. Okay, so our first exercise will be a squat and shoulder press. So we want our weight by our shoulders and keep the core nice and tight, keep chest nice and lifted. We're gonna squat down and then as we come back up, bringing the dumbbells up to the ceiling and then repeat. Let's go. Down and up, push your glutes up, or squeeze your glutes, shall I say, as you come back up. And tighten that core. So our next exercise is windmill. So we're keeping our feet hip distance apart, palms facing out, core tucked in, and then we're gonna rotate the arms around in the shape of, you guessed it, a windmill. Let's go, keep it moving. Really good for the arms and shoulders as well. And keep the movement nice, slow, and controlled. <sighs> okay, drop a dumbbell. And we're doing forward lunge and pass. So to do this, we're gonna step forward lunge, hit the back leg at a right angle, pass the dumbbell from the midline of the body outwards, and then back to standing and repeat again on the other leg. Let's go. When we push back to standing, squeeze the glute muscles together. We wanna get those leg muscles nice and sculpted. Nice strong legs is what we want. Keep going. Right, down to the floor now. Grab both your dumbbells again, and we're doing a plank and row. So again, keep your core nice and tight. Lean forward and lift each dumbbell up, leading with the elbow one at a time. Let's go. So we'll strengthen our upper back. And if we want to make it harder, full plank and pull. Okay, back to standing. Sumo squat and upright row. So toes facing out, 
and then narrow grip, weights go down to the floor and pull up. Let's go. Squeeze your glutes on the way back up. Really work those glutes and top of the back and shoulder muscles as well. And I love these exercises, working all over the body. It means you get twice as much done in half the amount of time. Okay, tricep keep back next. So, back nice and straight. Lean forward slightly. Weights by the chest. Hinge from the elbow only. Back and in. Back and in. Let's go. Your whole body should be still with the exception of those elbows just hinging back and forth. Back and forth. If you want to make it harder, pause for a second at the top. If you want, really feel that stretch around the back of the arms. This will make our press-ups a whole lot easier, trust me. Next, we're going into a dynamic side lunge. So start with feet together, step out nice and wide, keep the dumbbells together, and bring the dumbbells as close to the floor as you can get them. The closer to the floor, the more it works. Swap sides. Let's go. Keep it moving. If you need to take a break, take one, and come back as soon as you feel ready. But do come back. <laughs> Don't just disappear. <laughs> okay. On the way back up, squeeze again those glute muscles. I know I keep saying it, but it's really important to get the most out of these exercises. Okay. Bicep curl and frontal delt press next. So palms face up, bicep curl up, and then press the weight up to the ceiling. Bring them back down and then release the weight. Let's move. Keep breathing, nice deep breaths. Push it up to the ceiling, back down. I hope you're starting to work up a sweat now. Remember, if this is too easy, pump up that weight. If it's too hard, drop down on the weight. There's nothing wrong with that. I'd rather you do the moves properly with the right form than all sloppy. That's not what we want. Okay, drop a weight down to the floor now. So we're doing reverse curl and around the world. So feet on the floor, back straight, legs up straight, and then curl up and pass the dumbbell around the legs. Let's go. Squeeze and bring the upper body up as you pass the dumbbell around the legs. Try and keep your legs nice and straight. So work our core, make it nice and strong. exercise. We're doing a crunch and a pec deck, so arms at 90 degree angle, we're bringing it up and 
crunching it, bringing our arms and elbows together and then back down. Let's go. And you should really be able to feel this in the tops of your arms and of course in those ab muscles as well. I find this exercise particularly challenging on the arms, the upper arms. And that's what we want, we want to push ourselves. Because when you push yourself, that's when you get the best results. When you get complacent, you stand still. And five, four, three, two, and one. Take a deep breath. We are finished. Back to standing. I hope you've enjoyed that workout. Now, each workout I don't expect to be perfect, but I think we should always try our best. So as long as you've done that, then you've done a brilliant job. And make sure you subscribe to this channel if you are new here and you hit the notification bell so that you don't miss anything that I upload in the future. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video. See you later.